Welcome back. I'm gonna get straight to this shit. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna dub this one, but um, it's funny, man. Like the the respect is is minuscule. It's like no one cares to even have common decency, whether young or old. Now, what I'm not understanding is today me recording this video this morning i'm at the gas station like around 3 30 in the morning you know going to get my shit and then head out to the gym so i get out my car need i mind you it's cold it's fuck out there it's like fucking negative six Nigga, and I'm still recording on this day, so yeah, it's cold as a bitch outside. Wind blowing hard as a motherfucker. Anyway, I get up in the store and I'm meet and I'm greeted by some young woman that's asking me to buy her a black and mild. Now, mind you, everything comes down to tone and delivery with me. So if I'm getting in the store, it's early as fuck. It's 3.30 in the morning. This bitch ain't checking the vibes or nothing. She is looking at me for a split second with her hand out. Hey, can you give me a black and mild? Guess what I said? No. And just kept walking. Went on back around by the cooler to get my drink. I come back up to the front. Whole time, I'm hearing her just feeling some type of way. She mad as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, bougie-ass nigga. Man, you a bitch-ass nigga. Like, well, could have just bought us the black. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm not obligated to do a damn thing for you. But one, you out here at fucking damn near three in the fucking morning, coming from a halfway house, trying to get a black and mild, and you mad because the nigga told you no? Well, if the clerk didn't want you to have it, they didn't sell it to you for a fucking reason because you're not old enough. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be young, experiment with it, alcohol, smoking and all that shit. I ain't putting it past you. But the time, the timing of it was just fucking crazy. Ain't no fucking way. It's 3.30 in the morning and you haggling a motherfucker inside the store, in front of the cashier. Hey, can you buy me a black and mild? No, I can't. So I kept it moving. And that made the bitch feel some type of way. Getting mad, rolling her eyes and shit. And I'm like, uh, is there a problem? You know, when I'm getting my shit and I'm handed out, this bitch looking at me and talking to her little friend or whatever. And I guess that she was feeling some type of way. I look back. Is there a problem? It can be. That's what she said. And I'm just like, you know what? I ain't even go back and forth with a bitch. But one, you know damn well, that's your ego talking. So I'm going to let you have that, fam. But ultimately, you mad because I told your ass no. This is ultimately a lesson, my nigga. Like, in life, my nigga, you can't expect everybody just to go along and get along. Because you're so used to it. There's going to be a time and place for motherfuckers turn you down, turn you away, tell your ass no. But ultimately, getting back to this situation, now I'm already privy to these Project Stray type of girls, these females. I'd been around when I was younger, and I know how fucked up they be in the head because ain't no telling what the fuck they done been through. You know what I'm saying? Probably raped as a youngin, and ain't no fucking telling all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? Domestic abusers getting beat up by their siblings or parents and shit. Thank God I ain't never had to experience no shit like that, ultimately. But still, that just goes to show, like, motherfucker, just because you up here and you present yourself not even in the best fashion, not even in the best, you know what I'm saying, uniform of respect, you just holding your money out. Can you buy me a black? No. Now, this shit could have went many fucking ways. Depending on the type of dude it was. You gonna have your typical motherfucker that's just gonna say, yeah, okay. You got me 
It's gonna look at your ass, tell you no. There's a reason why you can't get it. I'm not finna sit here and be your fucking savior for you to get a smoke in. Fuck that. And then you got motherfuckers out here that would have turned up on your ass and did way worse. They probably could have took your fucking money and just said, bitch, give me that. Got they shit and just left your ass up there looking goofy. What the fuck would you have done? What could you have done? Nothing. This is what I'm saying, bro. It's times as crazy as a bitch, a shit, a bitch as it is out here, especially in this damn city. And you gonna try to sit here and catch an attitude with a nigga? Because I told you no. That's crazy. Young bitches. Older bitches, it don't matter. Females always got this filter on them where it feels like I can't be, nothing can happen to me because I'm a female. So they talk shit. You entitled to that. <clears throat> but everybody gonna react the same way. You feel me? You got niggas that uh, bust your motherfucking head just from talking to them crazy. Now see, if I really didn't care about my freedom, I understood, you know what I'm saying? Looking at the whole situation like, okay, this is a young person, a female at that, talking crazy. She ain't no fucking threat to me at all. You're not a threat, but I don't see... What got this little bitch so comfortable in trying to disrespect me so blatantly <laughs> just because I told her no? Like, if I were to be one of these goofy-ass niggas out here that's crazy as a motherfucker and just go off on your ass, swinging your ass through the aisles left and right like a damn rag dog, I'd be wrong, right? I would. Because, dude, it didn't warrant that. You didn't have to put your hands on the bitch. But, I mean, this goes to show that you bitches need to really understand boundaries, my nigga. Everybody ain't gonna tell you yeah all the time. You can't sit here and get comfortable and think you can just ask somebody something that's just supposed to go smooth just because, oh, well, I'm a young woman, you know what I'm saying? I look pretty. I'm finna just go ahead and ask him. I know you're gonna get it from me. Coming off with this matter-of-fact confidence about you, like, I ain't had no choice but to get you to fucking black him out. No. Nah. And the funny thing about it, when I get to the register after I get my little drink or whatever, guess what I got? Right. Some fucking black and miles, nigga. I don't give a fuck. And I know that made her even madder. That's why I looked back at her and shit, and she was rolling her eyes, and I'm like, is there a problem? And then she go, it can be, and it's like, I'm not finna go back and forth with this little bitch. No, not no Project Straya. Huh? Already know the situation, I already know what the fuck you're going through, I ain't got time for that. Good luck, I'm getting this shit. Luckily, it was somebody else that had walked in and got it for her. So I'm sitting outside, you know what I'm saying, letting the car warm up a little bit before I pull back up, because that motherfucker ain't staying warm, not in this nigga to do. See her and her friend walk out, shit, they looking scared as a motherfucker. I'm like, dude, that's what I'm saying. You can't just be out here just acting tough and trying to play these little tough guy acts, especially if you're a woman talking to a man. That makes no fucking sense at all. I don't even know why you're running your mouth. Just take the L. Nigga said no. Keep it fucking moving. You'll find somebody to get it for you. It just ain't me. But yeah, I just wanted to say that shit. That's it, bro. No one has to tell you yes. Understand the situation you in before you get to asking a motherfucker can they do something for you. And watch your tone and fucking delivery. You know what I'm saying?